In the last video, we covered how to set up your microscope. So once your microscope is all set up, then you are ready to watch this video and learn how to start using your microscope for the microscopy lab. Just a reminder, make sure that you keep your microscope away from liquids, foods, children, pets, things that can damage your microscope while you're working. Let's briefly go over the parts of your microscope and what they do so that you'll know when you get to your actual microscope um, and as I go over these parts what parts I'm talking about so as we mentioned in the setup video this is your camera attachment so your camera if you're using that feature goes on top of here this is your ocular lens this is where your eye your eyes look through to view the image. If you have a camera attached, you can also view the image through your camera without having to use the ocular lenses. Um, but if you're not using the camera features and you wanna look directly into the microscope, this is where you look here. There are left and right eye lens focuses um, down here and so you can use the left and right eye focus if your left and right eye are different, um, have have different um, vision in them, you can adjust so that your left and right eye both see a clear image. This part here we call the arm, and while we're on the main parts, this part, this whole bottom area, we call the base. And so when you're picking up and carrying your microscope, you want to hold it securely under the arm and under the base to make sure that you have a good grip on it and you're not grabbing lenses or something like that when you carry your microscope. These are your objective lenses, and I'll go over um, what each of those does in just a little bit, but essentially this is the power of what you're looking through, so it determines how large the object will be that you're looking at. These right here are the stage clips. Those hold your microscope slide in place. This black base here is called the stage, and that's what your microscope slide sits on top of. There is a condenser under here for focusing the light, so you can move the lever down here back and forth to adjust the the focus of that light coming through from this light source here. That's the bottom light source. There is also a top light source that you can adjust here and here. And um, so as you're going, once you put a slide on and actually start looking through the through your lenses here, you'll want to just play with the light sources a little bit and see for that particular slide whether you want more top light, which would be from here, or um, you want to let more bottom light in through using this condenser here. So it's somewhat just playing with those settings and um, seeing what light combination of light makes your image look the best. Uh, we already went over this as your base here. The on and off switch is right here. I didn't label it, but your power cord needs to be plugged in back here in order for the on and off switch to work. And if you were to turn these grips here. That's the course focus. And what you'll see here is the stage move up and down. And when you focus, and we'll go over this a little bit more later, you want to start with the course focus and then um, on a low power setting. And again, I'll go over how that works in a minute. But you start with the course focus and then you use the fine focus, which is turning this smoother knob on the outside. So the rough um, sort of lined knob here is a coarse focus, and this is your fine focus here. And one last thing, if you look at the other side of the microscope, there's this knob here, and that adjusts the height of the light, so it can move your light up and down and adjust the height of your light. So to download your um, camera software, the first thing that you'll need to do is get the CD that's in the styrofoam case that your microscope came in and the CD looks like this. You'll insert that into your computer. When you do that, if an icon doesn't automatically pop up asking you to download it, then you'll open up your Explorer window and click on this DVD OMAX drive. Next, a screen will pop up. You'll click Auto Run, which is this right here. 
Then you'll click Install Application. If it asks you, your computer asks you if you want to allow this program to make changes, you say yes. There might be a couple things to click next on, so you'll click next on those. And then a box should come up like this, and you will say, you will click install. You can change the folder that it gets downloaded to if you'd like to. Um, then click install, and finally click finish. And then your program should be on your computer. You should see an icon now like this on your desktop, so you'll double click on that. And the screen here will pop up. Under camera list, you'll click this link here that's just selecting the camera that you have hooked up to your microscope. So There's an adjustment that you can make to make your image a little bit clearer, and if you look at your screen now, you um, if you look over here on the left, these are different settings you can adjust. If you click on this white balance, um, these arrows here, this little red box that says white balance will pop up. And what you can do is move that over to a clear or white spot on your screen. And so you'll move that box over and then click white balance. And it will just make your image a little bit clearer and make the white areas really white instead of having sort of a grayish look. So um, that's not something you have to do, but if you're ever looking at a picture and you have a white area on there, that's an adjustment that you can make is click that white balance. You don't have to do it right off the get go, but that's something that you can do at some point if you want to make your white areas more white to make a clearer image and a better picture. So what you your lab says to do first is take a letter E slide. So we've got this, um, Oops, this letter E slide here. And this is the stage of your microscope. And so what you'll do to put a slide on is you'll open up this stage clip, this thing here, and you will stick that under there. Okay, so when you get your slide on there, the next thing that you're going to need to do is move your slide back and forth to make sure that your slide and the image that you want to look at is centered under your... So once your slide is centered under the, the lens, centered here under your lens, you're ready to start looking at your image. And there's two ways that you can do this. Um, the first one is your image will pop up on your computer screen, so you'll see something like this, depending on what slide you're looking at. And so you can look at it on your computer screen. You may also want to try looking through your microscope with the eyepieces here, if nothing else, just to see what that looks like looking through those eyepieces. So it, it, I'm guessing it will be easier for you to look on your computer screen, but again, I'd try looking through those eyepieces on your microscope, looking through here, just to see what that looks like when you're looking through a microscope without using the camera feature. Let's go over real quick the lenses here, your objective lenses. And so you always want to start with the shorter lens, which is this red one here. And then if you need to look at something in higher power, you will slowly turn to the yellow and or the blue. Um, we are not going to be using oil immersion lens. This one you'd have to have oil on your slide to be able to use that lens. And so we are not going to be able to be using that one. So one important thing that I want to point out here is when you are ready to switch to a higher power lens. So if you're looking at a slide that you need to zoom in closer to an area and you are ready to switch from the red lowest power lens here to a higher power lens, you on the lowest setting, remember I said you use the coarse focus first and then the fine focus. Well, when you switch to any of the other lenses, you always want to start by focusing it on the on the lowest power, that red ringed one. And when you move up to a higher power, you only use the fine focus. So I just really want to point that out that only use the fine focus at that point. So you don't, um, if you use the coarse focus on a higher power lens, you can smash your, your lens in the slide. So I just want to make sure that I really remind you of that, that when you're switching to a higher power, 
only use the fine focus. The microscope that you have is called a compound light microscope. Light pretty obviously is because there is light that is within the microscope lighting up your image. The compound, that word means that the lens powers are combined or compounded to give total magnification. And what that means is your microscope has these ocular lenses that you look through. That lens, just this lens by itself, is magnifying the image you look at by a power of 10. So it's making it look 10 times larger. Then you have the objective lenses down here, which can either be a power of four, 10, or 40 times magnification. And so then your image, first here it gets larger by 10, here it gets larger by another four times, 10 times, or 40 times. And so to find the total magnification of the image you're looking at, you take the power of your eyepiece, your objective lens, which is 10, and you multiply that by the power of the objective lens that you're using, which is either 4, 10, or 40. So if you're using the 4 power lens, then your total magnification is 4 times 10, which equals 40. So if you need to know the total magnification you're using at that time, it would be 40x or 40 times magnified. If you're using the 10 power objective lens, then your total magnification would be 10 times 10 which is 100 times. And if you're using the 40 power objective lens, then your power would be 40 times 10, which is 400. And again, we're not going to use the 100 power lens, which is the oil immersion lens in this class. Okay, so let's look at the three different ways you can adjust the light on your microscope. The first one is with this switch down here, and that's just a dimmer or brighter switch. So here it's on sort of dim, as I brighten the light, you can see what happens there. And sometimes it takes a minute for your screen to catch up to your light source there. Um, so that's really bright. The other... Okay, so the last step really here on your program, it's pretty simple, but you, you see your image right here on your screen of your computer. You can record if you wanted to. We won't need to be doing that for this class. Um, but there's the snap here, you click that, and it takes a pic, and then that picture is located right up here. So when you click on this here. Okay, one last thing when you're saving your picture, if you click on save as type here, so click on this, it will bring you a drop down window, and if you select JPEG, that will save the image with the best image quality, so I'd recommend you um, save your image as a JPEG and then again give it a name that you'd like, click save and then that picture should be in that location wherever you saved it to and you can again insert that into your Word document that you are submitting for the weekly lab. So that's the end of our instructions on how to use your microscope. You're now ready to go do your lab on microscopy and if you have questions as you get started with the lab or on how to use your microscope at all, don't hesitate to ask. I know it can be a little bit of intimidating the first time you get out a new thing like the microscope. So please, please um, let me know if you have questions as you get started. But I do hope that you have fun with the microscope and looking at the slides that you 